I'm going to review uh, some of the tools that you will especially need when you're tying jig nymphs. Um, some of these you, you probably have already. I'm just going to emphasize them here. Uh, these hook and hackle holders are really useful, very inexpensive, but they're, they're going to come in really handy for mounting your beads on hooks. Um, I'm sure you already have a bobbin. Um, this is a uh, this is a little dubbing picker. It's very fine uh, and, and it has uh, some abrasions right at the tip. So this is really helpful for uh, a lot of the nymphs we tie. Uh, the thorax is really small. These are small flies and, and a big dubbing brush like this is, is just whether it's the brush or it's the velcro it's just excessive and this really gets the job done again very inexpensive you're going to want some super glue or loctite uh, dubbing wax you probably already have scissors you i'm sure you have but uh, i especially find it important to have very fine point scissors these are the uh, these are new italian scissors um, with the ring lock on them. These are Dr. Slick razor scissors, the four inch. They're, you can tighten them, adjust them. Loon makes a really nice razor scissor, so do other folks. The point is, you're gonna need a scissor with a fine tip to get in close and work your material. Finally, I really like these bead cups. Uh, put beads in them, put hooks in them. You, you can stack them. Uh, they're very handy. Um, so I think that's it. The, these are, this just review, uh, the other stuff you probably already have. Um, now I'm going to go on to talk about materials that I think are especially handy in tying jigged nymphs. I'm going to very briefly review some of the key materials you're going to want with tying jig nymphs. I'm going to start with thread. Um, you're going to want some hot colors of thread, fluorescent orange, fluorescent pink, um, uh, fluorescent red, bright red, crimson red. These are great for tying your hot spots. Uh, for body material, pheasant tail, pheasant tail, pheasant tail comes in. It, it, it's a wonderful material for, for bodies. Uh, you can reinforce it. Um, it's just good stuff. Wire. The two you're going to want some different colors, but the the two sizes that I find most useful are these are both brassy, but I use small and brassy. Uh, you are going to want these, so make sure you got them at your at your bench. For lead wire, the most useful sizes are .20 and 0.15. This spool happens to be on a, on a bobbin, a Renzetti bobbin. Really nice. You don't have to do that. We've got our bobbin keepers here too. Uh, here's a real handy one. Vivas iridescent thread. Comes in many colors. It's a reinforced thread. Um, it's got sparkle in it. It's quite tough. It's wonderful for ribs and hot spots going to want some super glue. You are going to want ice dub. You probably have it already, but in case you don't, uh, dark colors, peacock, black, um, uh, some of the hot colors. This is uh, UV shrimp pink. It's great for a hot spot. Uh, they're, they're a bunch, but the point is ice dub, real important. You're going to also want a, a dubbing that has more spike in it. Uh, this this would be for a hot spot. You might use peacock ice dub for a narrow uh, body, and then your thorax might be something like hair's ice dub. It's spiky, comes in a lot of different colors. Excellent stuff. <coughs> CDC is a really good hackle to use uh, on jig nymphs. The UV2 Select CDC is absolutely worth the money. Uh, I. I Almost every feather is spot on useful. It's uh, it's great stuff. Coke de Leon, uh, 
little packet with feathers in them. This is great stuff. It's uh, really, 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 really good for tails. It's nicely speckled. It's very durable. Uh, you're, you're just going to find this to be uh, very cost effective. Makes great tails. Other things do, but... Uh, so that's a quick run through of some of the key materials that you're going to want uh, to have on hand when you sit down to tie jig nips.